my setup gets really hard on my back. I have to get things more organized around here. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna do another toy haul today. Maybe I should have waited because tomorrow I will be going to a toy warehouse that is opening. It opens just certain months of the year, right before Christmas and also in the spring. And tomorrow it opens. I don't usually find the best things there, but every once in a while I do. Anyway, this week I have a big haul. It's such a blur. I'm trying to organize stuff more. Instead of making this as a display, I've kind of set it up as a video making factory. They don't look so good, but it lets me see the inventory more clearly. And speaking of inventory, <laughs> I've really added to it. I think the best find of this week these guys and they must be because there was no hesitation i had to get them right away luckily there was a fantastic deal on you spend 50 dollars, you get 20 dollars off on select hasbro toys if you live in canada at toys r us going on until march the 31st they're so cute there's another little guy i'm not sure he's out yet people who have reviewed these on the internet seem to have just reviewed the two together so i'm thinking that he comes out separately he is available at amazon canada i might actually go that route i don't know why i haven't already two other hasbro toys i got one was from walmart and one was from an off-price store they kind of go together there's something so retro modern that I love and I love the color and it's just classic. This one comes with two figures which is awesome. I might save these. When I looked in my analytics I didn't even realize that my May the 4th video where I opened up a lot of Galactic Hero toys. It's my best video. Out of nowhere. I don't think people even would watch a live video. I'm gonna put those up here in front of the light bulbs. Okay there's a lot here to contend with. I'm not sure if I showed you this one. Zack Storm, apparently it's a new series. This was at Treasure Hunt for a very long time, and I just ignored it. It's a tiny little figure. I don't love it, but it is a new series, and I'm interested, and in, I'll open that in a giant Bandai opening. What else do I have from Treasure Hunt? I found this, and I really wanted to get this set. And when it's 60% off, it's an excellent price. And the week before I found this set, I'm really happy that I got both of those. I love the Peppa Pig. I got this. I also got one of these packs. One of these is from last week. I mean, I have to try the McFarland building sets. I'll give them a try. I also found this Rick and Morty one. So all of these were 60% off. That came to okay prices. I mean, they're really expensive in the first place. I hear that they don't go together very well, but I'm willing to give it a test. And at a discount price, indeed. I also found her at Treasure Hunt for 60% off. So she was like six. I thought that was worth it just for the outfit for Hippolyta. You may know I'm not really into the made to move and I'm not really into how tiny those feet are, but she's very pretty. Oh, this Call of Duty that was also there. I love these so much. At first, I didn't really like what was happening with them, but I think they've evolved a lot, especially with the release of Masters of the Universe and they have Star Trek ones. And I do plan to do a mega opening of those as well, because I have quite a collection now. Walmart, I found this guy. Very happy to find him. When I was in the States, he was the only one that I couldn't find. So happy to get him. He's kind of Ryan, if he's not Ryan. At Walmart in Canada right now, every Disney doll is now under $9. It's eight something. And I don't have her plain closed, so I thought I should. Usually at Walmart, they're 15. At Toys R Us, they're 19, I think. So to get these for eight something is a really good deal. I almost bought the whole mini head princess set. They now have smaller heads. They all have new sculpts. And I was gonna compare it to my mega 11 piece set. I stopped myself. Maybe I will eventually. I still have to open up my mega 11 doll set that you haven't seen. 
more things from Walmart. I thought I would get these to do an Easter opening. So I got two bunny things. It's the new wild style Shopkins. I need to get one. I don't think I'm going to collect these. I thought I could at least test one out though. So a bunny one is perfect. I don't know if this is new everywhere, but to Canada, they just released the Samurai Turtle sets. And this is the character to get is the bunny. And I'll probably open these together as a bunny show off. I got this plastic storage bin. I would have gotten more, and I do buy them all the time, but they only had one left. That's from Dollarama. Back to Walmart, though. I found these Peter Rabbit bunnies in eggs, and I almost missed these. I usually don't check out the DVD section, but something told me to go to the DVD section, and they had a two-pack of these for $19, but each one of these, if you buy them singly in a plastic egg, they're only six something. So seven. So that would be 14 for two. So I don't understand the logic. Sometimes they make mistakes like that, I guess, when pricing. And these were also at Walmart. I got three cars. That motorcycle was really chunky and hunky. I found this Homer pink car really cute. I tend to get a lot of the TV and film ones. Maybe I even have this one. I don't know. I'm always super drawn to a nice rugged truck. And this one is pretty sweet. Probably one of the most rugged Hot Wheels you're going to get. I usually prefer Matchbox. If you watched my last haul, you may have seen that I picked up Hefty, Smurfette, and Papa. I kind of regretted not getting the two new characters from the most recent movie. These are made by Jax, so I picked those up as well. They're from the Dollarama, so they were $3.50, which is great, because they're on clearance at Toys R Us right now for $6 something and then I am not a huge emoji fan but when I see something of this great quality it's just a really good size they're like bean bags lots of beans in these really well made and they were only a dollar 25 a winky guy we got a love struck guy we got a crying with laughter guy we've got a cool guy we've got this one's probably my favorite the devil Cute. And then we got Pooh. Beanbag Pooh. Oh, and more plush <laughs> from the dollar store. Now these are such good quality. Hey, that one's missing a tag. Now when I saw these, I'm like, that's like sophisticated hit parent. It's kind of the parent that I would want to be. It would be like a kid growing up downtown Manhattan. Everything in your home would be so smart and streamlined and modern. When I saw these, I instantly thought, that is just a classic New York design. And then I look at the tag and it's called the Manhattan Toy Company. I love New York. And the fact that this reminded me of having a baby in New York. So I had to pick them all up. The quality is so good and I can't believe they were at the dollar store. So I had to get everyone. And one day my baby is going to be so happy to have these. And these are going to look so cute in the nursery. But I better get working on it really soon because time is running out. Look how nice they are. Impeccable quality. Beans in the paws. And I just recently saw them at another dollar store. I was worried that I didn't have them all and they had exactly the same one. So I think I have the whole collection. Hey, these kind of match. I got these at the dollar store as well. They're for my dolly's hair. Get the dolly's hair out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna open these here. I don't know what shape they're in, but I got a lot of these for $2.99. I kind of think they are the best McDonald's toys ever made. The only other ones that I have are in package, and usually because they have real hair and cloth on them, that I would normally not want to get them from Value Village, which is where I got them. But I've been wanting to find them and I haven't been seeing them very often. The fact that I found so many, I thought that I would get them just in case I regretted it afterwards and they're so cheap. So I have this Mickey character and I guess she's Cruella de Vil. What these are, these are Madame Alexander and McDonald's puts them out every once in a while and because they're articulated figures, they're probably the best toys that McDonald's ever puts in their Happy Meals. They're definitely value. Okay, her hair's a mess, but she has the tag on it, so she might be able to be fixed up. 
little soccer girl. Yeah, there was a Wizard of Oz series, so I think that's what this is. I think this is a munchkin. Then this one would probably be the good witch from the Wizard of Oz, or one of the witches from the Wizard of Oz. Again, her hair's a mess, but the tag's on, so I'm thinking that she wasn't played with and that I'll be able to fix the hair easily. I'll give them all a clean. Oh, he's a little dark-complected baby. He's all flocked. He's pretty awesome. Little top-hatted baby. A piece of black rubber just came off his neck. I don't know if, if that was part of him or... Yeah, nice. Let me slam those back into some protective custody. Oh, here's another thing I got. I put him in here. Last week, I found the circus elephant from the Fisher Price circus set from the 70s and 80s. And this week, Coincidentally, I found one of the monkeys from that same series and collection. And I think usually the tails are broken off, so great find for him. I'm obsessed with these. This isn't something I found this week, but it's the same Circa of Fisher Price. And I love adventure people. I am obsessed with them. I'm going to Value Village a lot recently, hoping that I'll find some adventure people. But I'm finding other great stuff. And here's more of the other great stuff that I found. Oh, this is Fisher Price too. It's a little outfit. And it's a bunny themed outfit, which is cool. A little warped card, but I'm gonna take it out of the package. I don't know who these Brerberry... Brerberry? I don't know anything about them, but I think they might look good on my new Baby Alive girl. And I found this Teresa. She is definitely new in box. It's just really crushed, and everything's in there, as far as I know. And I thought I would get her for four dollars. Why not? And then I got these different boy dolls. So I got this action man. He looks pretty good. I really like the clothes that he comes with. Somebody in here smells. And then there's this guy, and he's a pretty good looking Ken. But I ended up getting him because this was really the one that I wanted. Old man, Grandpa Barbie. That's pretty cool. I guess this is Max Steel, or maybe it's Action Man. I do like the shorts and the holster thing. The shorts are definitely worth it. He has a feature. I guess you can blow darts through the back of this. The shorts are really awesome. And also in that was this outfit, which is some crazy 70s disco outfit. So if anybody knows where that outfit is from, let me know. Yeah. That stuff needs a bath. So many thrift vintage toys that need some bathing. Tub time with two hunky episodes are gonna come up though. That's it except for Zuru sent me along this amazing Smashers bus, which is a place to collect your Smashers. It's really awesome. I like it a lot. Thank you Zuru for that. They also sent me this ginormous pinata. I guess I have to figure out how I'm gonna smash that. Maybe I'll take it outside. It's a giant pinata smasher filled with smashers. How exciting is that? A wrecking ball of smashers. Smash in good time. I hope you'll like this video and please leave a comment letting me know what you think I should open up first. Have you clicked on the thumbs up button yet? Share it wherever you find applicable and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. If you don't mind, two or three or four a day. No, that's my intention, to start pumping these out. So look forward to more videos in the upcoming future, and we'll see you next time. Okay, what else? What else can I put in here? Shopkins. Ninja Turtles, Call of Duty, so many awesome toys. Oh my goodness, there are so many awesome toys. Put some poo up here, Rick and Morty. Hey, okay. <laughs> maybe hold up a Peppa Pig thing back here. <laughs> now I feel like I should fill in these spaces. There's one in front of here. And then there's a space right here. And more Peter Rabbit eggs I could put here. Up here. That pig is so cute. And there's Elena of Avalor. Hi! Oh, oh man! 
So many awesome toys. I have to open them all right now. I'm so excited. So much awesome stuff. So much awesome toys. Did I show you that I got this too? Oh yeah, I did. 